Philip Luis Buñuel is known for his surrealist, absurd films, but one of his most famous is pretty straightforward compared to his more cerebral works. Catherine Deneuve plays a beautiful young housewife, who remains unsatisfied in her marriage despite her devotion to her husband. So she does what any clever, enterprising woman would do, she becomes a prostitute during the day, fulfilling her deep sexual desires working in a high-end Parisian brothel. Number 9. Fat Girl, 2011. This film revolves around a 12-year-old overweight girl who lives in the shadow of her beautiful older sister. The ever-observant girl watches on, as her sister's innocence is stripped away. When she becomes prey to a conniving Italian law student. Number 8. The Dreamers. Matthew is an American studying in Paris during the tumultuous spring of 1968. There he meets a French brother and sister duo, Theo and Isabel, who share a love of cinema and debauchery. The three begin a complex friendship that borders on taboo when the three push the boundaries of desire. Number 7. Blue is the warmest color. Abdelhadif Kekish's acclaimed romance finds two young French schoolgirls, Emma and Adele, falling in and out of love. It's a devastating love story, but one that features some shockingly graphic sex scenes for which its leads wore prosthetic genitals. Number 6. Love, 2015. Director Gaspar No is no stranger to provocation but his arthouse sexual drama took full advantage of the technological marvels of 3D. While, uh, objects won't be flying out of your normal TV or laptop screen when you stream this one online, the titillation remains intact throughout this film about a sexually adventurous couple who invite their neighbor into the bedroom. Number 5. Boper, 1981. You may not want to watch Berter and Blyer's Boper with a step-errand in the room. The film mirrors Nabokov's Lolita, 1955, in many aspects. Like Lolita, the incestuous relationship is by way of marriage, not by blood. After the death of her mother, 14-year-old Marion decides to continue living with her stepfather Remy, instead of moving in with her alcoholic father. A sexual relationship develops between the two. Something that might make you feel uncomfortable about this movie, Bess, only 15 when the film was made, appears naked. Her parents allowed it, believing she was in good hands. Number 4. Q, 2011. The film explicitly depicts scenes of sexuality, some of which are not simulated by the actors. The critics gave a generally negative opinion at the exit of the film regretting in particular his amateurism and his pretension. Number 3. The Last Mistress, 2007. After a notorious libertine Rino de Marini wins the hand of her man Gaert. The most marriageable young woman in all the French aristocracy, he breaks off a decade-long relationship with his mistress, Valini. When rumor of his affair with Valini reaches her man Gaird's family, her elderly grandmother confronts him and forces him to tell her the story of their love. Meanwhile, Valini may not accept rejection that easily. Number 2. The Names of Love, 2010. A young, extroverted left-wing activist who sleeps with her political opponents to convert them to her cause is successful until she meets her match. Number 1. Irreversible. 2002. Irreversible is a 2002 French art psychological horror drama film written and directed by Gaspar Noe and starring Monica Bellucci, Vincent Cassel, and Albert Dupontel. The film employs a non-linear narrative and follows two men through the streets of Paris as they seek to avenge a brutally raped girlfriend. The film's soundtrack was composed by the electronic musician Thomas Bangalter best known as half of the daft punk duo thanks for watching please like feel free to leave a comment and also subscribe and press the bell for never miss a video from unknown tens